Hey guys, welcome back. Get ready to enter the world of pixelated warfare. In this dev vlog video, we will take you behind the scenes of pixel wars, the ultimate battles for supremacy in a sci-fi universe. Join us as we create more maps, our weapons, and more sci-fi things. This video was supposed to be published 4 months ago so it has a lot of progress in it and we'll have a second part or maybe even a third part since this might be an information overload but anyways back to the video so before we get into the map let's see some weapons I made for a while so here is the weapon I call the Razor Pistol it's a new class of weapon that I call the Energy Blasters so this class of weapons are ones that give special abilities and more speed they can fire fast and kill in seconds. They're the fastest on the snipers and SMGs, but it has disadvantages like less reload speed and less bullet tracking. In Pixels, bullets have a tracking system because of all the parkour involved in the game. In addition to this, some guns come with extra disadvantages, and that's its energy bosses. But anyways, back to the video. The Russell Pistol. It is a gun with a lot of splash damage and a charge ability. Gets a reduced throw and less roll one one time. Another one is the Akahai Pistol. It is also an energy blaster. This one gives a special effect called Red Cell. It's basically just like a stun but the damage and makes the hand fall to the ground as fast as possible. It also has a charge mode as well. But the disadvantage is if it does the same damage as a normal pistol and it has less stamina. One more gun is the Geeky one. This is an SMG I made in the studio and it's really just a basic gun. Another one is the Geeky 2. Like its predecessor, it's an energy blaster. So it's explosive special damage. It gives the effect anti-run. Taking away the ability to do a parkour as well in a distance for a few seconds not being able to sprint. It also has high damage but barely any lock on and slow reload time. It also has to be charged. It also reduces the height you can jump and increases the fall in speed. For the final gun we have here is the Markson A1. This is an update from a, an earlier dub vlog I made to it. So I made some changes with the snipers and how all of them works. And I made them more balanced. Yeah, I don't know why. I made it so that the bullet pocket is less powerful the closer you are to the person you're aiming at and it does more damage when you're farther away because speed logic in my game I'll make another video detailing this feature more down the line Describe when you might miss that Time for the vehicles We'll up your engines and get ready to hit the road We're taking a deep dive into the vehicles of the world of pixel walls from high speed sports cars to rugged off road trucks We will show you all of them today From a quarter mile I can see you at the car Let's say the land carrier Yishimaru. Let's say the land carrier Yishimaru. This is equipped with one top turret and two front guns with six wheels and it is dope because it has epic boosters and it's faster than all terrain. Second is the plane I've made called the Phoenix one. It has several rockets and a micro gun on the front. This also has boosters and laser cannons. It also has some car bombs. It is a god speed tactical plane for hunting down opponents who are based on land. Finally a sports car I made called the Crawl Fast Speed. Let me explain what it does. So this car is already pretty fast but it can also strafe, jump and climb on walls for a period of time. One more thing is that it only has two seats and low firepower but because of how fast it is. Now let me show you a small amount of swords I made for it. There's a small amount presented here because I don't want to spoil some of the map and I need to wrap this up fast. Here are some swords I made. Firstly, there are three worlds of wonder sword. A sword with a dragon ability to fly and fury attacks. Be explained more in the future. Another sword is the death sword one. This cool sword can seal out air blades, increases the jump ability, and gives an effect called a glitch. This effect gives three random effects from three different other effects and applies it to the enemy. For all the swords I have to present today here in this video, well, time for the start of the show, the map. It's a full blown game. I kit around 4 to 7 months ago, but I wasn't working always on it. But now for the real twist. This game was created as an inspiration from Roadbuilder. Link in the description. 
in that video he made a game where you could donate and depending on how much you donated you'll get something in the main game. So I made a game similar to that but with a lot more depth into things. You can also find things around the map and get it in the main game. Also I added secret obbies and places in it. I won't spoil it, I won't tell you where they are or where you find them. But now let me tell you all about the items you can find from donations. For 5 and 10 robux donated, you can get spray paint cans and skins and custom paints. Skin and 20 there are particles you can get that enable 30 and 40 the medieval swords and an angel sword you can claim. For 50 and 75 donated you can get a hood and a vs gun. Finally for 100 and 150 you can get two different and a one sided blade. Now for the VS weapons. These are golden guns which are remakes of other ones and it's a reward and also has more per perks on them. One universal perk is 250 extra caps when killing. These guns can be found all over the map and they're hidden all over. Speaking of hidden things, let's talk about the maze. I added this maze that when you can collect a lot of things all over, even code. But this also has a portal that leads to another maze. A pop up or area that leads to an orbi speed one up and then finally leads to another orbi to get something and another area. But we will go deeper into that in the next part. So make sure to subscribe and like to know when that part is out. See you in the next